I'm Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. Langchain recently announced the Langchain Hub. In this video, let's go through Langchain Hub in depth. First, I will explain you what is Langchain Hub and how you can assess it. You can assess it with Langsmith Assess if you have it or without the Langsmith Assess. Why it is mentioning here Langsmith is because it is integrated into the Langsmith website. So as you can see here, this is the Langsmith website and there is this hub. If you have watched my previous Langsmith videos, then there were just projects and data sets and testings. Right? After that, what I will be doing you is showing how you can download and upload the prompts into the Langchain hub using the SDK that they have provided. Let's get started. This is the blog post provided by Langchain, right? I will provide the link in the description so you can follow along with me. But I'm just going to go through in brief to say you what is Langchain Hub, right? If you scroll a little bit down, it says that it is a home for uploading, browsing, pulling and managing your prompts, right? So why prompts? Because let's say, let's say that you are working in one model let's say from OpenAI and you want to use different models, try it out, right? But the same prompt and the format that you provided to one model might not work for the next one. So what do you do? You need to write different prompts. If there was a hub, if you can choose different prompt templates, then it would be good, right? So that is the main concept here. But it says here we will be adding other artifacts like chains and agents so that it's easier for us to use the different formats for different models. That is one use cases. If you scroll a little bit down here, it says that the main goal here is to become the go-to place for developers to discover new use cases and polished prompts, right? If you go down here, there is this model variety and non-transferable prompts, as I said you before, for different models in order to inspect different things, cross team collaboration, but now it just supports only the one that is using this, but in the future, and artifact management and Langsmith, right? Because it is integrated inside the Langsmith uh, website. And there are two ways how you can assess this. If you have the Langsmith assess, you have the full read and write permissions, meaning that you can upload your prompts also. But if you are using it without the Langsmith assess, then read only permission. Right? You can view and download and run the prompts. I will show you how you can do this without the access into the Langsmith first and then show you what is the difference after you log in into the website. Now, let me open this in the incognito because I have already opened this in my normal tab. So yeah, this is the UI as you can see here. This is the hub and I'm not logged in as it is mentioned here, log in, right? So yeah, there is use cases. You can choose from different of these ones, right? And then there is type, there is language, and there is the models. You can choose uh, based on that. So let's say that I want to go with the English language. Let me make this bigger. Whenever you choose the language, all the different things filtered out itself. Meaning that as you can see here, interacting with APIs, there is zero. So it, there isn't any of these things. So based on these things, and I like this because there are different languages also. That was the same question I also being asked that, okay, this works for English, but how to work this in this language? And is there any prompt how to use this, right? But now you can quickly come here, see the prompts that others have already uploaded, or you can even upload yourself and then help the community, right? I will show you one example of, let's say, this, we can just go random here. So there is the summarization. So blog generator, prompt maker. I can go with the prompt maker. I. You can just go through any of this. Let's show the example of prompt maker. So I can click here. It says here, uh, this is the username of the person who uploaded this prompt. So this is public. You can have it private or public. And this is the chat prompt template. As you can see here, this is the system message, human message. And there is this task. There is this lazy prompt you give. So yeah, this is how it works. And this is the code that can, you can use it in the SDK. I will show that later. So how can you use this? As I said before also, Lang Smith SS is not needed to try this. I can go and click this, try it. If I click this here, it will open in a new UI. Now here is the task and the lazy prompt place where you can provide the information. So I can just say, what is the task is maybe code completion, right? And what is the lazy prompt? I can say here, write a, Python code 
to upload okay data to s3 bucket just a normal lazy prompt the chat open ai model is being used if you want to use different models now you can click this particular thing here it opens in a new ui again and here there are the providers right there is chat open ai and there is chat anthropic meaning that you can use two different providers based on this now i will go with chat open ai and you can choose different models here as you can see here there are different models being provided i will just go with the default one gpt 3.5 turbo and you can even change the temperature maximum length top p uh, presence penalty whatever you want right and now what you can do is just click this start let's see what happens if i click this start it says here missing api key open ai api key right we need to provide the api key and the place to provide the api key is from this uh, link here secrets and api keys if i click this it's nothing here i will now go to my open ai website let me go here i have already created api key i will copy this by the way i will delete this once i create the video so no need to mention that i showed my api key i will go here and control v i provided the api key and now if i click this start again yeah as you can see here now a good prompt is being provided here as an export in python in cloud storage systems write a detailed python code that allows users to upload data to an s3 bucket in aws so there is the instructions as you can see here there is additional context being provided expected outcome i hope this will perform better rather than just writing write a python code to upload data to s3 bucket right so that is how it works as you can see we just provided the lazy prompt here and then it provided us the good prompt so what you can do is just copy this and use this as your prompt this is all that you can do here in the lang smith website if you are not logged in right let's see what happens if you logged in so this is all i want to show you in this in this part i will close this now now i will go to the one where i am logged in this is the one that i am logged in this is the lang smith website as you can see here there are the projects if you have watched my lang smith video you know that i have created some projects and this is the hub i have already tested the same example here also i'll go to the hub as you can see here the same thing is here there is nothing different except you can use the sdk to upload the things here or ui also so i can go and click this my prompts so as you can see i have already created the account it will ask you to create a repository so that's why it says private here my repo are private so that is what i said you before there is the commit that i committed that to make this my repository so for that i will just show you how to do that also let's say that i go to the hub i will just take this random test question answering i want to just try it right i try it and i said start okay it will say okay missing value into the input context because i haven't provided any context here right but what i can do here is this save as right i'm not showing you again the open ai api key part because i have already shown you there it's the same here also i can say save as and as you can see it says create commit and you need to select the repository that you have so it says select or create a prompt to commit to so i can just write the name and select the repo is here so i can just select data science and then commit but here as you can see here commit to the current prompt or create a new one right so this is the difference here that okay i want to commit just to the current prompt or the new one and you can choose from here i can say data science basics aws s3 and commit it there right let's say i commit it here what happens if i go to data science basics i have here aws s3 i go here and now as you can see your goal is to create a well crafted set of answers for the text question so it is overwritten there so this is all the prompts that was being provided but if you go to these commits there are two commits here it's same as how you do in the git you commit it first this is the latest commit i did a few seconds ago and this is the earlier commit what was there in the earlier commit there was different prompt right i use for this you to create here are the several tips for writing the great prompts and your goal is to improve the prompt given a below a task so this was before but now i have the current one which is different right 
the name is a little bit AWS S3, but I'm using the different ones. That's just the example, right? So now I can just publish this if I want. So that is the good part that you can take prompts from someone, you can make it customize yourself and then publish it so that others can also view it. So this is the publish icon. I can say publish. So this is public now. So data science basics AWS S3. This is the hub right here. And if I go here, as you can see here, I said recently up updated and then you can see that, okay, data science basics. AWS S3. So this is others also now can go here and use the same prompt that I just made published. So if I think that, okay, this is not good one, I want to say unpublished because this is, I just, I just didn't make any changes here and this is not good. I can just go here and say unpublished and now it is private, right? That was public before and then this is private now. So if, if I, if I published and if somebody wants to use it, then you can just go here and try it and then you can try it. So that is how it works. I hope now you know how to use the hub, how to take the existing things and try it. And as well as how to commit that into your particular repository so that others can also view it. Now let's go and see how you can use the SDK in order to achieve this, right? So I have already done this. So I will just go and show you how it works. That is pip install lang chain langchain hub and openai right you need to install this i will provide this in the description box so that you can just go here and see what i am doing here what i am doing here is from langchain import hub langchain import hub right so prompt i just said hub.pool data science basics aws s3 right that is the account or the repo that i have there so this one is my username and this is the name this is the prompt as you can see here I just get it here. For this, you don't need to have the access. As I said you before also, just to use it, you can uh, use it without having the uh, Lang Smith API key also. But then now I want to configure pool and run the prompt from the hub. So how can you, I do that? Of course, I need to provide the OpenAI API key, which I've showed you before. And this is the code that you can do. Pool a uh, chat prompt. This is how you can do hub.pool and I'm creating a model to use it. This is the chat open AI model. And then I just provided here, okay, code generator, write a Python code to upload data to S3 bucket. This is the same example that I showed you before also. So now it provided me the answer. That's it. You, you use the SDK in order to do the same thing that you did in the UI. Now let's say that from Langchain import hub, import open AI and hub.pool, and I'm just showing you again because this format is not that good. You want to have maybe the good format that we get similar to what we get in the hub, right? What you can do is you can save that into a variable, right? And then this is the content of the variable that we just showed here, right? So if you go here, there is this content. I just print the content and with, the, with this piece of code, I just formatted that content. So as you can see here, as an export, this is this, this instructions example is being also provided here. And it looks really good example here, right? Now, how do you upload your prompt into the hub, right? So this is the push of prompt to the hub. You need to have the API key of the LangSmith. How to get that? If you go back to the LangSmith website, if you go to this key icon here, you can create a new API key. That's what I did. And then you can just provide your API key there. And from Langchain import hub, this is the same thing. And from Langchain prompts chat, chat prompt template. And this is just the prompt. I just said, okay, chat prompt template, that from template, tell me a joke about a topic, right? You can just say here anything. Tell me a joke or you can just say it, tell me a poem, right? whatever you want. This is the simple thing. And I said here hub, dot push and you need to provide your username and then the name here i said topic joke generator i can now say it topic poem generator right and then i provided the prompt which i just created and once you run this it will show you the link to go to the ui so here it says as you can see the link provides to the particular commit message so this is the commit message right you can just go to the hub and then see topic joke generator was there before if i go to my hub let's go to the hub 
and in my prompts that is what I did before so as you can see here this is the topic joke generator as you can see here there is topic joke generator that I just pushed this yesterday you can do the same thing so yeah that's all for this video we went through what is Langchain Hub and then I showed you how you can use it without the SS of LangSmith and with the SS as well as using the SDK to pull run it as well as push the prompt into the hub. I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.